Alan Shoemaker. Hey, we had the cold front come in early yesterday with a nice cool day for late summer. And you got one more bonus day today. The clouds and the northwest wind still kind of locking in the cool air for one more day. But I think it will get kicked out pretty quickly on Saturday. So if you want to do something outdoors and you like the cool weather, you have today. Don't put it off until the weekend. So cool weather, not many showers. We put showers on the graphic, but they're going to be very limited the rest of the afternoon, I think. So we're looking for clouds around most of the time. There may be a few light showers, especially near the coast, but most of the time we're looking for dry conditions. Temperatures in the 70s, some areas in the low 80s this afternoon, but hotter weather in store for the weekend, but it may not last very long. There is another cold front coming in on Monday, although that one may be more of a rainmaker, not necessarily a cooler, less humid type of weather maker. Uh, but here we go with the, we'll talk about the weekend more in detail now and kind of concentrate on the rain chances next week coming up a little later of this hour. But we're only near 70 right now, 70 in Westco, still only 66 in Rio Grande City. How many summer days do you walk outside at noon and it's in the upper 60s in parts of the valley without it being like crazy pouring raining? So, yeah, very rare. And if you are outdoors too, it's not much of a wind blowing today, 10 or 15 miles per hour, not very gusty at all, but that wind from the northwest still pulling down some of the cool temperatures from the north. You see, when we look across South Texas, there's a lot of uh, relatively cool weather still on the map. The front kind of stuck in East Texas and just offshore from us. So it's in the 80s in Houston, but only 77 in San Antonio and to the north, uh, even cooler weather remains still in North Texas, but it has warmed up some in West Texas from the very, very chilly stuff where it was stuck in the 40s uh, just a couple days ago. A couple of light rain showers, mainly offshore and a few weak storms. Most of that probably not able to get inland. That's kind of on the other side of the front, which is stuck along the coast. But if a couple showers may drift inland later this afternoon. You see uh, near the coast, there's not much out there now. Earlier, we did have a few showers come in the eastern Cameron County, but along the coast now it is mostly dry. Future track does show the clouds hanging in most of the day. I think it's maybe a little eager breaking up the clouds this afternoon, but we may start to see some holes in the clouds as we get towards sunset. But again, notice future track tries to push a couple showers on shore later today. I think that could be possible as some of that warmer air tries to gradually push back in. So you might see a shower or two pop up still later this afternoon and early evening, but most of the time it's going to be dry. And then tonight, the warmer, more humid weather will start to gradually spread back in. So by the time you get up tomorrow, I think Saturday's a day when, again, pretty dry. There might be a little shower here and there, but the humidity coming back may kind of force up the air a little bit to cause a shower in spots. But I think, again, most places look dry tomorrow. Rain chances are low, and it will get back to around 90 degrees in many areas in the afternoon. By Sunday, though, more humidity and high temperatures again in the 90s. We could start to see rain chances increase. You notice by 3 in the afternoon, future track is starting to show a little rain. Later and later on Sunday, as moisture increases, we pick up a little more of a rain chance. But I think the big chances of rain probably hold off until very late Sunday night or Monday. So for most of your weekend, probably going to be pretty quiet out there. So if you do want to get in some golf on Saturday, again, there might be a shower in spots, but it will get more humid and temperatures back in the upper 80s and lower 90s in the afternoon. But the first one five AccuWeather 70 forecast still cool today, but then back in the 90s Saturday and Sunday, the chances of rain kind of low on Saturday, about 10 percent start to climb on Sunday and then get highest Monday and Tuesday as a front settles into South Texas. Those days we'll talk about later on there. There is a chance maybe for some heavier downpours Monday and Tuesday with some tropical moisture moving in. So we'll track that in more detail for you in your first 1-5 forecast again later this hour on Channel 5 News at noon.